I'm so sorry. I got this wrong. I am supposed to acknowledge authority, and I'm supposed to acknowledge other people made decisions that they consider to be politically viable, and I'm supposed to take the cues because nobody discloses. I just want you to know I disclosed myself. I've been hearing now ever since the beginning of this year. Somebody told him he was supposed to disclose something. I don't know what it is. But apparently at some point in time they said, okay, you need to disclose. And he made the decision not to. And so I hear this. You needed to disclose. You needed to disclose. And then somebody else says, he still hasn't disclosed. He still hasn't disclosed. That's not anything I can do anything about. But let's get to the matter at hand. With food, I have already purchased, as part of my emergency preparedness supplies, enough seeds to grow food for a substantial number of people. Let me give you an example. I have more than enough seeds to grow food, not only for 31 people, 32, but that it could be cultivated and done in such a manner that there would be excess and extra food to be able to sell or trade. I have my own tent. I have everything I need, including my own water purification system. I have what I could feasibly use. You take me somewhere, give me a meadow. I could support myself with the food I have in storage. I could make sure that I actually apportion food for myself to provide for myself with just with what I literally have to take care of myself long enough to start actually growing and yielding food that I could eat myself. That's really all reasonably. I honestly believe anybody can expect for me to have to pay back anybody. You haven't even given me a conversation in years. You didn't invest anything in me. I'm supposed to believe everything else I've done, everything else I've created, is supposed to be for somebody else. I'm just supposed to let it go. You've already done this. You want me to accept, it's just an illusion on my part that any of it was ever mine to begin with. I'm just a vessel for you to transmit through. All right, well, I'm still alive. It takes oxygen, it takes water, and it takes food. You've got some sort of expectation of performance. I don't want to eat vegetables and fruit. I'm supposed to go eat his food because there's some sort of economic arrangement connected to the food he provides. And when I eat, unconsciously, as well as when I actually walk into the room and leave, it processes something in whatever this economy is you have. And I know that, and I've known that for a while, and I'm not really resisting that, because you need to disclose what you're doing. And I know you need to disclose what you're doing, and you haven't. But you just need to know if it was really actually about making sure an old man that has need for someone to take care of him had his needs met. I could have done that. But that's not what this is about. See, in order for that to be done, there has to be land. We live right down the street from the 5G tower. Does anybody remember what the police officer said when I told him that I had been physically assaulted and somebody stole my legal filing the night before I was going to file it? Well, you can always leave. Well, he assaulted me. Why should I have to leave? Well, it's your choice to stay. I can't grow food here. I can literally not get food to grow. My plants don't grow. It's like they're suspended in time. I have a pepper plant. Maybe, maybe it'll grow this year. They didn't grow last year. None of the flowers, none of the food I planted last year grew. I think it has to do with that 5G tower down the street. I also think it has to do with whatever the horrible, horrible, horrible tax waivers that are going on here. Whatever the horrible, horrible chemical dumps are that go on at this location are. My food, they, they got beautiful flowers. Nobody grows food. They expect somehow to be able to get money and go buy food from somewhere else. Well, if I had to, I have the seeds. I could grow food. I could feed the old man, but that's not what this is about. And until you disclose, I can't do anything else. You understand? 
And so whoever this is, you need to have acknowledged. But that's not what we're about. Well, what are you about? Because you want me to prove a case that doesn't exist. And the case that does exist, you won't acknowledge. It's not about food. It's not about providing for end-of-life care. It's not about respecting elders. That's not what this is about. So stop using that as an excuse for what it is. If it was about that, all the material conditions to realize that I have here. Between what he has, I even have a surplus in here, separate from mine, for him, in case he needs it. But it's not about that. It's about something else. See, I understand I'm 43. He's 62, 63. Sometimes he says he's 66. I know you've set him up to be me in 20 years. That's the threat. Well, you need, do you want to go, do you want to be lonely? Do you want to have no companionship? The problem is this is not the first time you've done this. You've showed me people his age years ago, five years ago. They all have very different lifestyles. It was just as extortionate then as it is now. I'm not going to end up being any of them. Because if I had to choose between whatever it is you've offered him and being alone in a tent somewhere with ground that hopefully isn't too irradiated, and if it is a little irradiated, I even got some remediation that could help with that, literally, right now with me. I could literally deal with that. That is what you've prepared me for, because that's what I prepared. You've stolen everything else. You've given everything else to other people that won't even acknowledge I exist. Don't want to acknowledge I had any contribution to anything else they expected at the end of their life to be whatever it is they think was supposed to be the way we treat our elders. I prepared for myself and for my people, but all you give me is somebody else. That is not what it is about. This is not about taking care of him. This is not about paying him. Uh, something that he owes to be taken care of. This is not respecting him as an elder. This is not about acknowledging or honoring my community. It's not about gratitude to somebody that helped me. It's about something else. And if you don't disclose, that's all it is. It's a lie. It's a lie, and the lie accrues and it bankrupts people. You told me I don't have anything. I don't mean anything. I didn't do anything. I don't have anything. I can't be bankrupted, but you can, and I'm supposed to do something to cover your bankruptcy. At the most base, the most basic, what am I? I'm soil. But you didn't give me anybody to tend it. And I'm not going to let you put somebody else's seed in it, and I'm not going to let you keep dumping toxic chemicals in it. And I'm not going to keep letting you dig it up and tear it up so you can make some excuse for saying it's a catastrophe and you can justify charging another generation of young people for this lie. If there were children among those 31 people, you'd be just fine. As long as you would leave us the fuck alone and stop trying to get us to pay for your fucking criminals. But you haven't relented on that yet. So again, we're still at a fucking impasse. It's not what you want me to think it is. If it was, that would have already been taken care of. And you won't disclose. So you either got to get a better representation of who the fuck you are, because right now you're a completely brilliant, capable, still fertile, highly productive woman. Everybody's fucking lying to and trying to convince she needs to go cover their ass for crimes they won't even acknowledge. If it was actually about food, you'd have the food. If it was actually about water, you'd have the water. If it was actually about love, you'd have the love, but that's not what it's about. And I'm not, I'm not paying for it, and I'm not covering it up. 